Hey guys, welcome into another weekly portfolio update. This is the first update for June uh, and we have hit actually a big number. So we're down 40% on my initial investment. So I've put $61,000 into this account, uh, this portfolio, stock portfolio, uh, and I'm down $24,464, which is 40%. Uh, it's not actually the lowest that I've been. It's been down like 32 or 33,000 or something, but I don't think uh, that was shown on any of the videos because it was uh, in the week. It was like the middle of the week or something uh, that it was that it hit that low. So, and that was a couple weeks ago now. But uh, yeah, so 40% though. It's the first time I've had to write that number down, uh, and that is a huge loss. Uh, and if you calculate it from all-time highs, so uh, 61,000 is my what I've put into it. Uh, but then if you consider from all-time high, I was up 22,000. So it's an adjusted all-time high of 83,000. I didn't have all that 61,000 in there when I when I um, had that 22 gig, uh, 22,000 gain. But, you know, theoretically, uh, with the value of that portfolio plus what I put in, uh, makes it up to this three theoretical value. So, uh, minus what I have left, 36, 536, uh, gives us a total loss of 46, 464 from all time highs. So, yeah, that's huge, massive, almost 50 grand down. Um, but, yeah, hey, that's the nature of. Uh, high risk investing uh, you can obviously go down as well as up <laughs> um, I mean at my highest I was up like 80% or something across the portfolio so uh, yeah couldn't have that kind of return always uh, kind of sucks that it's gone so far down but uh, I do believe that now is a good time to be buying and when I have the money to do so I will continue buying um, yeah, down $938 this week. Uh, house is at 645 k value. Um, I did pay a little bit of my mortgage off, so I had 10 k that went on to floating, and I've paid 6 k of that off. Uh, that is so that when I refix the main chunk of my mortgage, uh, it's going to go up a lot in price, and by paying a little bit off, it means I'm not going to be paying quite as much on the repayments. Still going to be a huge increase, increase though. Uh, yeah, and the crypto portfolio was up a little bit this week, uh, 190 bucks. And yeah, moving into, we'll have a look at the uh, indexes. So after the over the past five days, the S and P has been up 0.76 percent, Nasdaq up 0.1, sorry 1.2, and the Russell's up 2 percent. Uh, and you would think, like theoretically, because my portfolio is based mostly around small caps uh, that I'd be closer to what the Russell does and often that's true but not this week because I'm down a grand uh, so yeah significantly underperforming the market this week um, you can look at my largest positions uh, Corsair 1.89 in the green Tattooed Chef 1% in the green Palantir 5.3 in the green uh, and then the rest I believe are mostly red 3.8% down, so it's like my smaller stocks, smaller cap stocks that are letting me down, uh, like the smallest of the small. Uh, Fiverr is still alright, Planet, uh, Planet 13 is still alright, uh, and there is obviously some that I'm not showing here because the rest are uh, positions aren't quite large enough to even bother tracking anymore to be honest, like Workhorse, Matterport, like in the hundreds of dollars. Uh, SPC 600, uh, Beyond Meat, I don't have a look at that one, and Coinbase, don't have that one up either, but yeah, about $800 positions on those ones, uh, everything over a grand I've put up here. Um, yeah, looking at the forward PE valuations as per the Yardini graph, uh, as always, um, yeah, my favorite, the uh, the small caps here my favorite at the moment. Uh, we have yeah, bounced off the bottom quite significantly. If we look at the one month, it's back here, Wednesday 11th of May, 
up almost 10% since then, uh, which does track across my portfolio. Um, yeah, so we're still incredibly undervalued uh, relative to the normal for the S&P 600 small caps, uh, but we're not quite down as low as we were just a couple of weeks ago, you know. Uh, similar thing for the mid caps, but the large caps are still probably like on the high end of fair value at the moment. Maybe mid, mid to high end of fair value, but there is still there are some deals out there in the large caps at the moment. But there's also some a lot of overvalued companies still. Uh, best place to look is in the small caps, in my opinion, um, which is where I've been looking. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately don't have the money to put in at the moment. Uh, these are the positions shown in my Sharesies account. Yep, all horribly negative. Even uh, MicroStrategy hasn't managed to <laughs> even seem positive at the moment. Even though yeah, it's down a lot more than it says there. <coughs> uh, yeah. This interesting graph, how I used to be up 108% back here. <laughs> now down into the negatives below where I started uh, quite significantly so and yeah these are those positions in there and as always I cannot be bothered opening up my interactive brokers portfolio because it's annoyingly difficult <laughs> uh, and doesn't it only has two positions in it uh, Planet 13 and Matterport and yeah onto my crypto portfolio so yeah not a lot of movement this week, slightly up. Uh, the one that I care about is ETH, and it pretty much has not moved from last week. So yeah, uh, won't be selling any of my crypto mining uh, stock. Uh, what do you call it? Crypto mining, uh, what I've accumulated from crypto mining, the, the Ethereum that I hold in my wallet. Um, yeah, I'll be holding that until ETH is a lot higher than it is now presuming it does go a lot higher than it is now uh, yeah so that's yeah, pretty much all I've got for this video uh, nothing really eventful for me uh, Tesla had a bit of an announcement to say that well sorry Elon had a bit of an announcement to say that uh, Tesla will be laying off about 10% of its staff and stopping hiring uh, due to predicting some uh, economic distress so yep uh, Elon's at it again reckons we're gonna have uh, well the world or potentially just the US uh, he, he doesn't really clarify uh, thinks they're gonna have some uh, significant economic distress uh, which I mean is probably right but uh, personally I don't see that as a reason to stop investing in the market because uh, the market doesn't necessarily care what is going on it cares what it thinks is going on and I believe we've been quite uh, pricing in like some pretty bad news for a while now like uh, yeah we had a huge drop that you know was pricing in the war uh, st like a starting of a war potentially getting worse it was also pricing in uh, fed rate hikes and it was pricing in uh, the chance of a recession maybe it's going to now price in a greater chance who knows but yeah either way when I have the money I will continue buying so yeah usually the stock market recovers before the actual economy does uh, same as it crashes before the economy does um, yeah that's pretty much all I got for this uh, week's video so yeah uh, leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great rest of your day see ya